<laughs> That's right. A new version number. If Trains the World can do it, so can I. So I've been spending the last year-ish in Visual Studio Code, basically rebuilding the mod from the ground up, using a new programming language to boot, TypeScript instead of Lua. In my opinion, it's a technical marvel, but I'll spare you the details. The bottom line is that this was an opportunity to really go back and apply all the lessons I learned from making this mod and from scripting the Long Island Railroad DLCs. With this rewrite comes a host of exciting new features. For the ACS, the Aspect Display Unit is now countdown style, since Amtrak made that change last year. It works just like it does in the Trainstone World Providence Line and Trenton Line DLCs. You can see the digits counting down as the train approaches the oncoming 95 mile per hour speed restriction. When you get an alarm, the same procedure applies. Train brake and suppression, and acknowledge the alarm. Except you can now also acknowledge just by switching to an external camera. It's as good as holding down the Q key. This should be very helpful for those of you who like to drive in third person. Since these are American locomotives, ringing the horn will now sound the bell automatically. And you only need to press the bell key once more to turn it back off. And yes, for those lights that are controlled by Lua, rather than by the game itself, that's generally the ditch lights, there is now a fading effect. And for double-ended locomotives, the ditch lights on the reverse end will finally turn on if you change cabs. Dual power locomotives have a new progress bar that shows you exactly where the locomotive is in a power transition. Trains with switchable destination signs have a fancy new menu with multiple pages of destinations. Very helpful for a Sela, which stops at nearly every Northeast Corridor stop. For those of you who have the E60 DLC and the Amfleet 1 Enhancement Pack, you now have the ability to switch between the low and high platform modes. The process is simple. Install Open NEC2 and then place the reverser in neutral to lower the trap doors. The most realistic Northeast Corridor simulator just got even better. Download Open NEC2 today at the project website, which is linked in the description. Thanks for watching, everyone.